welcome back let's move and talk about dopamine and the reason i put dopamine or start talking about dopamine after levofed and uh, norepinephrine and vasopressin because usually it's an alternative to norepinephrine whenever we cannot use norepinephrine we can use dopamine as a replacement and the main indication that we cannot use norepinephrine or prefer dopamine when you have somebody who has hypotension and bradycardia because remember significant bradycardia i'm talking here remember norepinephrine has a balanced effect on the heart rate and may cause a mild bradycardia so whenever you have hypotension and bradycardia dopamine uh, can be really the option uh, to go for now how dopamine work probably all of you know this dose dependent curve really you need to know about it so you know how to manage patient but just simply uh, they say from one to five mcg per kg per minute remember it's dopamine dopamine the only one we use mcg per kg per minute and this it can cause vasodilation i put this tree represent the kidney vasodilation so this will dilate this will dilate and they will increase the renal blood flow and they used to say it can prevent acute kidney injury and increase urine output do not use it for this indication please do not use dopamine just for the sake of preventing acute kidney injury or increase renal blood flow now from 5 to 10 the effect will extend from here the renal selective renal vasodilation actually renal uh, splanchnic and cerebral but the main and most prominent one is the renal dopamine start working here which means it will increase uh, contractility in a tropic effect it will increase heart rate which means this will increase cardiac output and stroke volume and this will absolutely uh, increase the blood pressure so see the effect on heart rate and the blood pressure start at 5 and above and the third one is 10 to 20 we will have these effects plus now it will become vasoconstrict will narrow the diameter of the vessels vasoconstrictor is not as strong as norepinephrine in causing vasoconstriction but at this dose above 10 it becomes mainly working here on the vessels causing vasoconstrictions so that will further increase blood pressure so based on this the use of dopamine as an alternative to levofed or norepinephrine is the same is usually start of a dose above cg per kg per minute and actually above 10 i would if you're gonna replace use dopamine to replace a uh, levofed you start at 10 uh, especially in septic shock the main things also need to remember in 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 cardiogenic shock they say it's an exception you start at two and then uh, up uh, start titrating up uh, to the desired response again you do if you cannot remem remember these numbers just go back to resources or ask the pharmacist so let's wrap up it's we use it as an alternative to live with it when there is bradycardia and hypotension do not use it for the renal effect preferably if you're going to use start it start at 10 mics per kg per minute again for cardiogenic shock you just start lower dose and mainly this is handled by cardiologist the same thing apply the main limiting factors for dopamine is tachyarrhythmias with all different types whether uh, sinus tachycardia whether a fib flutter even uh, ventricular arrhythmias um, central line of course and it's mixed with ns i think can cause 
uh, extravasation and tissue necrosis so you can use phentolamine the same as other vasopressors and use the as i said when you titrate dopamine down it's preferably yeah, you come down do not go beyond five because that's when the effect on the blood pressure kind of diminished so if you titrate down stop at five and then discontinue dopamine after that that's the reason I brought dopamine after levofit because again, remember we use it when we cannot use levofit. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.